In this video you'll get a quick demonstration of Pro 100 CNC. I'm gonna go to my CNC examples cabinet library which has some cabinets that I've created uh, for CNC machining. I created face frame cabinets in my sample library but the program works equally well with frameless cabinets. I'm gonna go to uh, my base cabinets folder and let's take a look at the larger icons. I'm going to look at my wall, north wall elevation view and just drag the one door, one drawer cabinet and the drawer bank into the floor plan. Then I'll go up a folder and choose uh, two of these upper cabinets. And I'm going to uh, make this cabinet slightly taller than the other. I'll just double click it, uh, go to dimensions and make it say uh, 42 inches tall. Okay. Now uh, let's take a look at the perspective 3D view. I'll focus on this cabinet. Okay, and uh, if we go to tools and cabinet properties you can see that I've set the cabinet type for this cabinet to upper and the construction standard to dado. You'll see the significance of that in a few moments. I'm going to go to CNC export and I will create a file called uh, CNC demo dot AIP and I'll minimize this okay so there's my CNC demo dot AIP and I'll open my AI center I'll click AIP go to desktop uh, Here's CNC demo to AIP. Import successful. I'll click refresh to populate the grid. And you'll notice here uh, we've got uh, under cabinet number we've got cabinet one and all its parts. And under type you can tell that that's a base cabinet. Cabinet two is a drawer bank. Cabinet three and four are both upper uppers. And I'm going to show you how CNC operations are set up. Now, you remember in Pro 100, we looked at uh, tools, cabinet properties, construction standard was set to dado. So, this tells the pro, here I've configured the program that when a, uh, so that when a, uh, base cabinet comes in with dado construction and it has a lift finished left panel apply these operations it's got uh, five, one, two, three, four, five different fixed routes which are not parametric they don't grow and shrink with the part and it, you can see them here one two three four and five for the nailers and stretchers and then you also have a couple of parametric routes the one for the that receives the back and the one for the bottom panel you've got a uh, toe kick notch and you've got line bore operations and if you want to test your operations after you set them you can do so by changing the numbers on the sample part size. I'll just put in 64 here. And you'll see that the program intelligently adds additional line bore operations. And it stretched the back route. Uh, if I go to dado construct, uh, dowel construction, it has a different set of operations. So if I would have chose dowel in Pro 100 here, 
different operations would have been would end up being applied to the parts once they come here to AI Center. Once you have everything set up in AI Center as far as your operations and you've imported your job, you simply go to export parts and choose uh, let me, I'm going to check this path, make sure I don't have a previous job exported to this folder, and I do, so I'll delete the old parts. And I will export, in this case I'm going to export my parts uh, formatted for router cam software. I'll click export, it cycles through all the parts for this job. I'll close and you can see that all my parts are now in the router cam folder. So I'm now going to open auto cabinets and I will go to nesting, nest, I will click on import to import my parts from the router cam folder. I'll just click the text file okay all my parts have been imported but not yet nested now I will click on nest and uh, I'm gonna point out we're gonna zoom in here so I can point something out this you'll see two sizes of side panels for the upper cabinets because in Pro 100 I had a short upper cabinet and a slightly taller one. So that's what you're seeing here on panel on, on sheet one. And you also see the side panel for my drawer bank, which is clearly different than the side panel for my standard base cabinet. So uh that's basically how you go from design, uh, designing a job in Pro 100 to nested parts. Uh, but I haven't yet showed you any G code, so we'll go to quick code here. And I'm going to tell it to pause after each sheet so you can see them cycle through and display code. Each time I click it goes through another sheet. You can see the G code to the left. And we can zoom in, take a closer look. And that is basically how you go from designing and laying out a job and uh Pro 100 to nested parts and G-code in uh, the Pro 100 uh, CNC software package. Thank you.